Hey, where are we? What is this? It's CD Kaplan. And Jen, we are in Foxton, my friend. Wait a second. Joe. That's not That's us. That's not us, Joe. Okay, here we are. Hey, all right, I'm CD Kaplan, and this is Jen. All right, and so. This is another one of the, I don't know, there's like a school bus over here. Is this, this is City Block Louisville too, right? They blindfolded yep. me like I was some terrorist prisoner and brought me here, and now I'm not sure exactly, but you can find it. It's He's like, just a wimp. It's Foxton. We're just east of Coyotes in terms like of Like it's 2nd in Jefferson, 2nd in Liberty. Google it, you'll find it. Okay. Right. Um, so what's going on? What's going on? I don't know, man. How's the first week of married life going there? Chucky, see you lost your pants already. Well, it was really, if I had known we were going to be full frontal, I would have worn long pants like a professional. But Make anyway. Make sure you do that next time. Okay, actually, oh, is it raining or what? Okay, uh, any rate, the first week of marriage was kind of strange because the film babe went out of town. She gave her daughter a car and she... Uh, Went to uh, Vermont. So she I took her honeymoon by herself. So Smart I woman. Way to go, Joni. So it, it was a modern marriage. I spent my first week married alone. But it, And you know why it was a modern marriage? Why? I thought you'd never ask because not only did we have some friends there, but we had our therapist. <laughs> I heard true. you had five or six it's therapists. True. Oh, come on in. Plenty of room. Uh, okay, well, uh, the Lakers and the Celtics are playing. Uh, the la we're recording this on Monday morning, and the Lakers won last night to make it 3-2. to two. You think the Celtics are going to close them out tomorrow night? I think they will. I think they better. Insightful, poignant commentary, Jen, delving right through to the gravity of the matter, to the gravitas of the games, right? What it really is, is that he babbles a lot, so I have to keep my answers short so we don't go for 12 minutes. Okay. Next. Did, okay, did you watch the U.S. Open? I did watch the U.S. Open. Thank you very much. Okay. And have you ever noticed how people always like go for like the leader instead of the underdog? Everybody goes for the underdog in every other sport but golf. Then again, golf's kind of a bass backward sport anyway. I'm not real but sure. But that's a very insightful comment. You are absolutely right that in most sports we would Insight. be re we would be uh, rooting for the underdog. And Rocco Mediates a pretty neat guy. He's almost 50, and he's really never won anything big, and he's ranked 150th or something in the world. And but you still kind of want a Tiger who's worth like oh I don't know. I am Tiger Woods all the way. I love Tiger Woods. But he's Woods. worth like this much less than Bill Gates. He's the second richest man on, in the I cyber love him. galaxy. He's wonderful. Next. And so you were rooting for him? Absolutely. And that's who you want to win? Yes, I love Tiger Woods. Well, I love uh, him. you'll know who wins by the time you watch this probably, but I'm, I'm off for of Rocco. So another interesting thing that happened locally is Derek Character and Rick Bettino's SmackDown. Cardinal fans. Derek Character was at a Churchill dance on Saturday, was in the winner's circle after Colonel won the Stephen Foster and is still in school and talking about how he wants to play for the cards and Rick says it's over. What do you think? I think it's going to stay over. I, like I said last time, I think he's the T.O. of Cardinal basketball and he's a prima donna and he's a pain in the ass. As much as I'd like for him to play because he's good, I don't think Rick's going to let him come back. Oh, Ricky P doesn't put up with that crap. Well, it's Rick's football, so he's going to decide what happens. Yeah. Okay. I can't even, this light is so bright in my eyes here that I can't even see the signal so how much time. Vampire. So, so hope, Just keep talking. So hopefully. Uh, quick commercial. What do we got coming up at City Block Louisville? Next Tuesday, June 24th, we have Filter in Concert in Coyotes. And then on July, it's either the 7th or the 8th, I believe it's the 8th, we have Ween. It's going to be a blast. Ween's funny. And you know what? That What's reminds that? me, I've got to check. You know, you're supposed to check your HVAC filters once a month in the house. I just had to replace mine because the air went out. <laughs> so, and it didn't really go out. It so, was anyway, filter. so that's a good reminder. So not only can you hear the band, but you can use it as a reminder to, like, Make sure you change the filters on your HVAC system. One last uh, thing. First of all, a shout out uh, Tim Russert passed away. He was really America's leading media journalist. Did you just say shout out? Yes. He said shout out. 
And he's old. I didn't know he would know what that meant. At any rate, we're sorry to see Tim Russert go. He was, he was a, a real stalwart on media TV. And, you know, the last thing is, what, what's going on with the price of gasoline? I don't know, man. My gasoline is right here these days. Bicycle to work, walk to work. I've been skating to work like four and a half miles. That's a long way on rollerblades, Chuck. A long way. Yes, it is. Don't care about gas because I got two feet. Well, I, a good friend. Oh, actually, it was our boss. Don said he was talking to somebody the other day who said was going to bet him the gasoline's going to be five dollars a gallon by July first. And won't that be something to look forward to? Any rate, I think we've killed about as much as we can for this week. No more beating the dead horse. That's right. Well, we're having a lot of fun, and we're glad you tune in, and it's going to be wacky every week, so come back and see us again. But for another week, this is C.D. Kaplan. I'm the Culture Maven. This is Jen. Adios, amigos. Ciao.